Welcome to Honduras This Week Online News Video Cats for Monday, November 3rd, 2008. I'm Nicole Martyr, your host, while Todd Ellerson is on vacation. It's a windy day today in Tegucigalpa, as you can see. We're broadcasting from and brought to you by Minister Suites. We're located right now on the rooftop terrace of the Annex building. Off with some inspiring news, Honduran First Lady Xiomara Castro de Celaya decided to take action by helping the thousands of Hondurans affected by Tropical Depression 16. First Lady Castro de Celaya traveled to Olancho and personally supervised efforts to help flood relief, gaining the admiration not only of the Olanchanos but of the rest of the Hondurans. During the 10 days of the storm, she kept in touch with her husband, coordinating the help where it was needed. Together, they started a call for solidarity among Hondurans, called Corazón Solidario, or Solidary Heart. The First Lady's enthusiasm was contagious to her staff members, who answered the call when she asked them to organize and get a telethon on the air. Soon, tons of donations arrived at the presidential house, and Honduras this week witnessed the great spirit and giving heart of Hondurans. Alvaro Morales Molina narrates the full story in the national section. According to Honduran Ministry of Agriculture, Hector Hernandez, at least 550 million lempiras are needed to reactivate agricultural production following the ravages of Tropical Depression 16. They are needed to physically repair flood-damaged fields so they can be replanted. Calculations say that crop losses surpass 350 million lempiras in some 45,000 acres, especially basic grains. Additionally, some 50,000 acres of agricultural lands were reported as damaged by the floods. 2,000 acres of African palm plantations were damaged and still flooded. 6,000 acres of sugarcane were affected in Choluteca and Cortes. Some 3,000 acres of cattle grass are underwater and 850 heads of cattle are feared drowned. Up to 1 million liters of milk have been lost due to damages damaged roads keeping producers from delivering their product. You can find more details about this in the national section. When it came down to keeping her job or sticking to her principles, Selma Estrada didn't hesitate for a moment. The former minister of the Honduran National Institute of Women resigned her post this past August. What prompted her resignation was her dedication to the cornerstone of the post itself, women's rights. Estrada was to be on the welcoming committee for the foreign dignitaries visiting Honduras for the ALBA agreement. That included Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. Her reluctance and eventual resignation stemmed from her solidarity with Ortega's adopted stepdaughter, Soy la América Narváez who has alleged that he sexually molested her over a period of 11 years since she was nine years old. Her lawsuit against the Nicaraguan state for denial of justice is currently being heard in the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights in Costa Rica. Read the full Honduras This Week exclusive interview with Selma Estrada in the national section. You know how married people wear a marriage band on their finger? Well, now there's one for singles. Last weekend, Teusialpa's younger set were able to see the latest in jewelry design, the arrival of the new single ringin, a discreet but clear symbol that wearers enjoy the single status and are comfortable with being exactly who they are while being open to possibilities. Made of a light catching turquoise acrylic and solid silver, ster, sterling silver, the single ring -in also includes a half moon figure, which signifies the wearer is open to possibilities. Check it out in the cultural section. At this time of the year, and especially with all the rain last month and flooded areas all over Honduras, we'll, we'll see a lot of respiratory tract infections. We can divide them in two main groups, upper and lower respiratory tract infections. The upper are mostly viral infections, such as the common cold. The lower are normally bacterial infections. 
it is important to dis distinguish what kind of infection you have because the common cold is not normally life-threatening. However, a bacterial pneumonia can be if not treated correctly. Dr. Yvonne Van Liest gives full details of the common cold and helpful information on what to do. Look for it in the cultural section. This coming November 19th, the Honduran and Mexican national soccer teams will confront each other in a decisive match to pass to the next qualifying round for the World Cup South Africa 2010. Jacobo Hernandez, director of the only sports newspaper in Honduras, Periódico 10, got an exclusive interview with the famous former ESPN commentator Luis Omar Tapia, who considers this match a World Cup game. Read the full interview in our new sports section. The primary internal elections of both main political parties of the country are scheduled for November 16. The armed forces in charge of the aid of thousands of the of flood victims is also, during an election, responsible for delivering election material and equipment. The president believes the elections should be postponed since government has had to trim expenses and to accomplish the interns implies millionaire costs. However, the advertising campaigns of the candidates for the interns have not decreased. They do not have any content, any realistic nor human message is detected. They are parodies with totally irrelevant music and content. Nobody has even bothered to outline any sort of government plan. Hopefully, the logical reasoning of the president raised in the national media can make the decision makers consider an emergent social agenda. Read this week's editorial on this matter in the opinion and editorial section. In this week's travel and tourism section, you'll find a very humorous all about Roatan by Don Perley. And you can also read Todd Ellerton's cover of the new Spa Ixchel in the Mayan ruins, named after the Mayan Mother Earth goddess. In the cultural section, don't miss Yvonne Van List's My Life in Honduras, where she shares an interesting Honduran tax-paying story. And if you're wondering what to do and where to go, remember you can always check out our Maya calendar in the events section. So this is it for this week. We hope you enjoyed the articles and don't forget to log in and share your comments with all the readers. I'm Nicole Martyr for Honduras This Week Online. Have a great day and see you next week.